All right, shalom, shalom. It's the brothers from the GMS Storm Colony Camp back with another video. Before we go any further, we all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh. Yahweh. Bahashim. Bahashim. Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai. Bahashim. Bahashim. Rakakwadash. Rakakwadash. The bonus, the apostle knows a great millstone for teaching us for understanding the truth according to Bible well and peace and blessings so for life to the nation of Israel. Take through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shema Shai when into the Lord's will and edifying lesson. I'm the brother uh Isaiah. Shema War. And you know, today, you know, in the spirit and power of Yahweh Shema Shai, we're gonna get to uh, you know, just a couple of precepts. We're gonna bring out a couple of scriptures. You know, through the spirit, you know, the times that we're coming into, because the times that we're coming into are evil, you see, and the love of many is going to wax cold out here, you know, and through uh, food shortages, through, uh, you know, the supply chain breaking down through, you know, these different, uh, you know, these different um, airborne, you know, weapons that Esau is doing to cause the people, you know, to become sick. You see what I mean? Uh, that's going to cause a great division. You know, out here in the Carolinas, you really don't need, you know, to push your muzzle on when you go to the grocery store. But you should see the look that, uh, you know, people, the workers are giving you whenever you don't have your muzzle on. You know what I mean? So, hey, we're in a time of great division, a great divide. It's going to lead to a great civil unrest. And if you look, you know, you've been following this thing since this whole scandemic started. Uh, Esau Edom has been painting uh, you Jakes as the main culprits of spreading this thing. You know, it's, it's your fault. You know, he's pointing the finger at you. You know, also, he's coming down with his uh, demonization campaign to where he's going to try to demonize the prophets. You know, because he has to, uh, you know, he has to come. He's going to come after us. You know, but really, uh, the two thirds of the so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans are going to be the collateral damage because Yahweh by Shemal Shai. Is raising up Esau Edom to come down with that sword to judge the wicked of our people. But those who uh, trust in the Lord, those who are seeking Yahweh by Shema Shai, you know, uh, there, there's going to be a, a great uh, standard that is lifted, you see, during these times of trouble. You got it. Uh, which one you want first? Jeremiah. This is Jeremiah chapter 30, verse 7. It says, At last, for that day is great. So that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble. But he should be, but he should be saved out of it. Mm -hmm. Read again. Jeremiah 30 and 7. At last, for the day is great. Mm -hmm. it's so that I'm sorry, brother. It's talking about the day of the Lord. The day of the Lord is great. You know, the day of the Lord cometh cruel, both with wrath and fierce anger to destroy, to destroy, to, uh, 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 to, to make the land desolate, you see, and he shall destroy the sinners thereof out of it. So, you know, cruel, the Lord is going to be willfully causing a pain upon the sinners of his people. Those who are, are willfully committing sin, those who have heard, heard the warning, you see, it's going to be a great and terrible day for you. Read it again, brother. Jeremiah 30 and 7. It says, at last, for that day is great. So that none is like it. Yeah, so that none is like it. You know, you parallel the times that are coming with any time in history. You know, it's going to be worse. You know, it's going to be more intense. It's going to be intensified because this is the final judgment. Wherein, uh, you see, Yahweh Shema Shai will bring judgment upon his people. And our people, you know, have to pay for their sins. They have to pay for their iniquities. And they're, right now, the sin of Israel is great. You see? Go ahead. It says, but he shall say, I mean, but he shall be saved out of it. Uh, read it again. Jeremiah 37. At last, for that day is great, so that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble. Yeah. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble. You see, Jacob is your so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. You see? Uh, uh, the true biblical Hebrew Israelites. Let me get a quick uh, definition. The definition of trouble, it says public unrest or disorder. It says difficulty or problems. It says cause distress or anxiety. You know, 
our people are going to be uh, under a great stress and anxiety, uh, you know, during this time of trouble, during this judgment. You see, you know, go ahead. It says, <clears throat> it says, it is even the time of Jacob's trouble where he should be saved out of it. Yeah, and that he, you're going to uh, queue up the next precept, that he that's going to be saved out of it is what the remnant, the elect. You see, those who are taking this grace period to get right, to, to repent, to turn back to Yah by Shema Shai and seek the Lord's mercy. You see what I mean? You know, those who are getting their acts together, those who have heard the words of the Lord and who are afraid, you know, of the judgment that Yah by Shema Shai and what he's about to bring to this world. You see? This is Nahum chapter 1 verse 7. Yahweh Bashem Shai is good, a stronghold in the day of trouble. Mm -hmm. And he knoweth all them that trust in him. Yeah, so Yahweh Bashem Shai is good. You see, with the Lord there is mercy. But the tender mercy of the wicked are cruel. You see, the Lord is not a liar. You know, but the scriptures talk about never trusting your enemy. Yeah, so the Lord is good. The Lord is upright. He's righteous. You know, he's the one that we should be uh, uh, getting in line with, you know, and trusting in his word. You see, a stronghold in the day of trouble. So the Lord, you know, he's going to be that stronghold for those who trust in him. Those who are, uh, you know, sticking to the, the covenant that was made between uh, our, our forefathers and him. You see, to keep his commandments and to love him. You know, to fear him and to walk in all his ways. You see? Uh, read it one more time. We'll close it out. This is, uh... Hey, my bad. This is Nahum chapter 1, verse 7. It says, Yahweh Bashem Shai is good, a stronghold in the day of trouble, and he knoweth them that trust in him. Yeah, he know of them that trust in him, you know? So he ain't going to forget about us when all hell is breaking loose. You see, he's going to lift up that standard. He's going to uh, defend us, you see? And that's why our people should be seeking the Lord, you see? Because the Lord, is, he, he, he's gonna, he, he, knows, he knows those who trust in him, you see? So you can't be faking the funk. You know, you either with the Lord or you're going to be out here in these streets, you know, uh, during the time of Jacob's trouble with no covering, no protection, but, you know, that was it. You know, I just want to bring out, you know, a short lesson. You know, Lord willing, it was edifying with that. Uh, we're going to close out giving all praise and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh. Yahweh. Baha Hashem. Baha Hashem. Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai. Baha Hashem. Baha Hashem. Rukar Kodash. Rukar Kodash. The Bible the Apostles and Elders of Great Millstone were teaching us the warm percent truth according to the Bible well and peace and blessings so for like to the nation of Israel to the nation of Israel next time we say Shalom Shalom